What is up guys? Welcome back to another Elden Ring build and today I have for you guys a very OP build lightning and blade put together. We are going to be striking so hard. We are going to be proccing bleed at a max level with lightning put together level 150. We're going to be dealing a lot of damage. We're going to be fast. We're going to be smooth and we are going to be using this skill that is within these two weapons and we are going to be using the dragon scale blade. This build, we are going to be maximizing the lightning that is within this build. This is one of the very underrated katanas, but today the day has come that we're going to be proving people that lightning and katanas go together if you like how that sounds a like is much appreciated guys thank you for all the love and also especially for those that go the extra mile and hit that thank you button that is on the lower right corner of this video and also for those that join the bolt nation you guys help us out a lot so let's get started and let's see we're going to be taking a look at the dragon scale blade a one of the most amazing katanas because of the passive effect that it has on this one which is going to be the ice lightning sword that is one of the things that we're going to be making very potent in this build we are going to raise the power that is within this katana and you as you guys saw from the beginning and let me show you guys here really quick just this playthrough just how deadly this combination it is so op that it just melts away anything with bleed and lightning put together and let me tell and to be honest with you guys this build has been one of the most fun that i've had playing with and the other one is going to be the blatty uchigatana because we're going to be using seppuku yes you may be asking your question how is this even possible yes the seppuku is going to be able to level up both katanas at the same time and i was like how is that possible but it is possible and i have shown you guys here right from the beginning you are able to see how effective both weapons are by pretty much deleting anything it took care of melina very easy i mean it was the most comfortable i have to say way of defeating her i wasn't even sweating it because i was just having too much fun using both bleed and lightning put together now how do we make this even more stronger question for you guys i want to know in the comment section below what level are you currently now in elden ring and even even if you guys are on your second character or whatever character just let me know in the comment section below i love to know because i want to bring you guys more builds and different type of weapons that i want to showcase to you guys in put them together and make him stronger than what they are. Now, since we are using lightning and blade put together, we're going to be using the help of the white mask who's going to help us with 10 additional percent when blood is in effect. On top of this, we're going to be using the Raptor's black feather with an additional 10% and to give us a little bit more poise, we're going to be using the scale gauntlets and also the greaves themselves are going to help us raise our poised to 29 which is going to be just enough to be able to handle a bunch of hits if they're coming our way so we can stay alive in the fight and be victorious now how do we even raise this build to a different level one we're going to be using the lightning scorpion charm this one of course is going to raise the lightning attack that is within this skill of the weapon once we use the skill of the weapon which is this you guys see that that automatically for about 20 seconds you are going to be buffing that weapon to another tremendous lightning build and later on in the video i'm going to show you guys what else you need to do to make that lightning more potent within this build and after it goes away for 20 seconds you just do it again and do it again and do it again and that is what is most fun about this build you're always going to have your right rmn going at full strength okay so 
Millicent Prosthesis. This one is going to boost our dexterity by five additional points, which is going to help with the build because this one is dexterity and strength. We are leveling up first dexterity, so that is going to increase the power within the both weapons and is going to raise attack powers with successive attacks. And then how do we make this even better by using the lures of blood exaltation? Yes, blood loss and vicinity increases the attack power by an additional 20% once blood, of course, is in its vicinity. And now we're going to be using Shard of Alexander. This one is going to help the skill that is within the weapon itself. The Dragon Scale Blade is going to help increase the power and on top of that is going to help but with our supuku that is always going to proc for more than a minute once you guys hit anything it's always going to, going to raise the power within the weapon themselves now that we are as powerful as thor let's see if we can do even better and we're going to be using the following in our wondrous physics one is going to be the lightning shrouding crack tier. This one is more to boost the lightning attacks that is within the weapon itself. And on top of that, the incantations that I'm going to be showing you guys in a bit of what is going to give you a different type of option to be able to use build so you guys can stay alive longer. And then next we are going to be using the dexterity not crystal tier, which is going to boost 10 points are dexterity for three additional minutes, which is going to raise it from 55 to 65, increasing not only the power within the build itself, because it's a dex strength build with lightning and bleed is going to be progging at a very high level. And we're going to be deleting people, as you guys see here in the video, you've seen it from the beginning and then on top of this, we are going to be using the following incantations. One is going to be Golden Bow, which is going to raise our power by 15%. And then, of course, if you guys want to use none other than the um, Flame Grab Me Some Strength, you guys could also use that. It's going to level up another 20%. And then on top of this, this is what we're going to be using, the Lightning Spear. This one deals a tremendous amount of damage, guys. If you guys want to always use an incantation that is never going to fail you and you guys are going to be rapidly pretty much just spamming it, this is one that you definitely need to use because you are able to just spam it. See how fast that is? You are able to kill foes from far away really easy and really fast. So how is this possible? First, we're going to be using the following in our attributes points. Vigor is going to be at 49 because we need enough hp to stay in the game and once we stay in the game we're going to be able to take care of anyone that comes across our path and then next we're going to be using mine at 25 it's not as high because we have enough flask to be able to bring back that flask to 25 fully leveled up once again endurance is going to be at 25 giving us enough to be able to use our armor and our two weapons to be able to use them on what we actually want to do. And then strength is going to be at 35. And of course, dexterity is going to be at 55. In this case, it's at 65 because my flask is still in effect. And then the prosthesis, which gives me an additional five points is also in effect. So you guys get to see 15 additional points to your dexterity is a killer. Not only is your incantation gonna be faster, your weapons are going to be faster. You're going to be able to use, I'm going to show you guys here really quick. Okay. Ways to use this build. One, jump attacks. You guys see how fast I move, right? That's because of dexterity. The higher your dexterity is, the faster you guys are going to be able to use those katanas. I mean, you're going to be slicing and dicing anything that gets in your way. You're, you're probably going to think this is a hack and slash game, but it's not, guys. It's Elden Ring. But next, we are going to be using, of course, the different sequence of our buff. One is going to be Golden Bow. This is the sequence that you guys got to follow, okay? Then after that, we are going to be using the seppuku, okay? So you guys see that it's going to go to 907. Now, next, we're going to be using the lightning in our weapon, which is going to buff it, and we're going to go 11 
28. And we are not even using frame grab means some strength. So it's going to go over 1200 damage on just one weapon. And with Supuku and the effect, you guys got to see that, right? And every time you hit anything with bleed and lightning put together, let me tell you guys, not only does it look beautiful, let me know, guys, in the comment section, do you like effect of lightning and bleed? I would love to know that question, that answer to that question. But overall, this one, this build, it's just fun, it's deadly, and you guys are gonna enjoy it a lot. So the third way you guys are gonna be able to use this build is by using the lightning spear, just to keep foes away, make sure that they don't get too close to you. If they are a little more powerful than you guys, or you, got, you guys just wanna take care of them from far away, or they're giving you trouble, that's a different way to be able to take them down. And with the two katanas, and especially since lightning and with this build, we are going to be raising lightning to another level. So you guys are going to be proccing at a very high level with lightning and bleed put together. So let me know, guys, in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this build? Also, don't forget to hit the like and don't forget to hit the subscription button because we have a lot more Elden Ring builds coming up for you guys. Things that you've never seen in the game that you'll be like surprised if that bill is even possible. And if you guys want a bill for me to put together for you guys, just hit me up in the comment section below and I will do it for you guys. Now I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay to let you guys know where exactly you need to find all the different pieces that are within this build. Once again, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Dragon scale of Katana can be found in the following location. We are going to go underground and it's going to be located around this section right here, guys. Around this section and is going to be dropped by a dragon skin soldier, which is going to be in this section. The Uchigatana is one of the weapons that you guys are going to be starting off with if you guys are a samurai. Now, if you want to get a second one, pull up your map. And you guys need to come all the way over here. And you guys are going to be able to get the next one, which is here in the Death Touch Catabombs. Go through it and it's going to be on a dead corpse. The white mask you guys are going to be able to get during the Ferris quest line. Now, there is also another way that you guys can get this one. Pull up your map. And it's actually you guys need to come all the way over here. There is a teleporter. You're going to go through the Grand Lift of Rome. Through here, the Grand Lift of Rome. Go through here. And there is going to be in this section a teleporter. This teleporter is going to go underground and is going to take you to here. Now, from here, you can go to that grace point. After you go to that grace point, you're going to hug the corner to the left. And then you're going to be invaded by three different uh, various NPCs. Defeat all three. And then you guys are going to be able to get one of the best bleed. Actually, the only bleed um, helm that you guys can get in the game itself. The Lightning Scorpion Charm. You guys will be able to locate this one. Uh, pull up your map. And we're going to go all the way here to the left side. And it's going to be in the Windham Catabombs. You're going to be needing a stone key to be able to access. Once you go through there, just follow along. And then eventually you guys will be able to get this amazing talisman. The Millicent Prosthesis, you guys will be able to get this through by completing the Millicent quest line. If you guys want to know step by step what you guys need to do to be able to get that, check the description below. It's going to show you the Millicent quest line and you're going to be able to get this amazing talisman that raises your dexterity by five points. Now, the Lords of Blood Exultations, you guys are going to be able to get this by the Linden Capital, which is oh, up here. I'm in the wrong place, boys. And then it's going to be dropped around this section here in a uh, catabomb. Go through it and there is Sage Lord that you guys need to defeat. Once you defeat him, then the talisman will be yours. And then the last one is going to be the Shard of Alexander. This one boosting your level to 15%. You'll be able to get this by completing the Alexander quest line. If you guys want to know how to do that, check the description below. And this one is going to be yours once you defeat Alexander. 